to get to school. Oh well, at least it's Thursday. All right, I have my accessories. Well, guess I'm here. Julianne! Oh, hey Harriet. It's very nice to see you. Wow, I love your hairstyle. How did you do it? Well, one of my housemates did it for me. Really? That is so adorable. You actually look like Daenerys, I think. You mean the girl from Game of Thrones? I love that character. You know, actually, you should do a cosplay on her in that Halloween party. You mean the one that's coming up tonight? Oh, I can't wait for it. Yeah, and are you excited for tomorrow? Definitely. Especially when I would get away from these two. Oh yes, Alana and Caroline. They always mess with our lives and I have no clue why. Yeah, they're total female dogs. So, are you ready for class or something? Yeah, I guess so. Huh? What's going on here? I don't know. Let's see. Huh? What's gotten those girls so worked up? Why aren't they coming to me? I hope it's not a girl trying to take away my popularity. No, nothing can take away your popularity, baby cakes. <laughs> I know. Well, wait, if they're not crowding around Alana, then who are they crowding around? Excuse me, but do you know this guy? That's Eric. Oh my gosh. He is so hot. Wait, who's Eric? Is he a new guy or something? He is so gorgeous. Oh my gosh, uh, is he a transfer student here? I've got to know. Eric? What is it? He is cute. Ah, you should totally go for him, Harriet. What? Are you kidding? I'm sure a boy like him would never say hello to me. Besides that, all the cute guys always go up to Alana. She has a boyfriend, silly. I'm aware of that, but what he doesn't know is that she keeps on flirting with other guys, which is quite bad for her reputation. Agreed. Well, that's the bell. Let's go to class. Oh, it's these two again. <laughs> I know. Such lamos. Well, I gotta go. Bye. See you later. I'm heading off to class. Yeah, I've gotta go too. Why is he still going out with her? She's... Oh. Okay class, today we are going to be learning about King Henry and his six wives. Oh, not this crap again. She always talks about these things. Well, that's the point, we're doing recaps. Oh, right, sorry. I'm just messing with you. It doesn't even sound like it. Oh yeah. Now, as we talked before, King Henry VIII had divorced his first wife, Catherine, for a very big reason. Can anyone guess why he wanted to divorce her? If you do, then you will get a gold star. Um, we're not kindergarten students. We don't need gold stars. You'll be getting a gold star and that is fine. You understand me, Miss Caroline? Uh, he... 
Now, can anyone guess why King Henry VIII had divorced Catherine? I don't want to go through this boring lecture. Oh, I know the answer. Yes, he wanted to divorce her because she was too old to have children, but he couldn't because he was in a Catholic church. Very good, Miss Harriet. You get a gold star. All right, now can anyone tell me what the problem was and who his next wife was? I think all she ever knows was King Henry VIII and his six wives. Can she always talk about something else? As I said before, it's a recap, which is something I don't mind, but if she talks too much about it, that's when, yeah, I can't just listen to the same thing over and over again. All right, class, you are dismissed. Don't forget to do your homework and don't forget that you have a quiz next week. Boy, that was weird. Yeah, I totally agree. I'll be right back. I just need to use the restroom. Oh. Ow, my head. Uh-oh. Uh-oh is right. Why did you come across my territory? What the hey is wrong with you? Alana, why do you always do this? Because it's fun. And I'm tired of you always getting in my way. Why can't I just have a peaceful, natural life without you trying to bug me? I never bug you. You always do that. Don't you deny it. I'm not bugging you. You're always accusing me for doing stuff like that. I just don't understand why you hate me so much. Well, that doesn't change the fact that you want to try to steal my popularity. You're what? I don't care about being popular, okay? And besides that, I'm the one who needs to have a peaceful life for once. All you ever do is torture me and it seems that you don't give a flying feather about it. Well, I don't even care about how you feel. See, that's exactly what I'm talking about. You always do this, Alana, and I'm tired of it. You are so cruel to every pony in this school. Oh, really? What makes you think of that? Well, for one thing, you always bunk off classes, and you fail every class because of you. Ooh, someone's getting feisty. You bet I am. I'm feisty at both of you. You know what? If that's how you want it, then fine. Let's play. Uh, uh, what are you doing? Ow! I'm going to kill you. That's what you get for always trying to ruin my life. But I'm not doing anything, I swear. Uh, you're such a liar. Ow, 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 ow. Uh, what? Who are you? You better leave her alone or else I'm telling on the teacher. What? You don't even know me. I'm Alana, the queen of the school. The queen of the school? Huh, more like the queen of trash. Fine, uh, I'm just leaving. You're no fun anyways. Dummy. Are you okay? Uh, uh, what? Hello. Oh, uh, hi. Um, I've heard something about you. You're the new student, right? Yep, Eric is the name. And you are? Oh, I'm Harriet. It's very, very nice to meet you, I guess. Thanks for helping me. No problem. I won't let anybody hurt you like that. And on another subject, you have beautiful eyes. Thanks, but... I don't actually think they're that pretty. I mean, I'm just an ordinary girl. Well, you're unique to me. Oh. Well, uh... So, that party is coming up tonight. Are you gonna be there? Yeah, but I'm actually going with a friend. She's going to be a character in the Game of Thrones. I don't know who I'm going to be. Well, maybe I can give you a few hints about me if you want a little further explanation. 
Um, come on. Uh, uh, wait. Eric, what are you doing? Oh, I'm not doing anything. I'm just going to show you something. And this is a secret. You cannot tell anyone about it. Why not? Because I'll be considered dangerous to everyone. But what do you want to show me, Eric? These. <gasps> You're a vampire? Yes. Uh, I've never met a vampire before. This is so weird. Well, allow me to be your guest. I'm the new vampire that you have met, and probably the first one. Well, um, I actually don't know how to react to this, Eric. It's okay, we only met, so it just takes time. Yeah, 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 it does. So are you coming to the party? Mm -hmm. I guess so. I just need to put some thought into it, I guess. Yeah, no problem at all. Eric, wait! How long have you been keeping this secret for anyways? Well, this is actually the first time I came to the human world. Oh, I see. Yeah, this is the first time. So I don't know much about it, but I'm going to learn. Alright, well, good luck with that, and I guess I'll see you at the party. Alright, and remember, if there's any trouble, there's like a big tree that I see there, so we need to meet there if you have any trouble. Right, thank you, I appreciate it. No worries, be prepared because I'm going to make your party the best night ever, Cupcake. Did he just call me Cupcake? But why? No, it, it can't be possible. He doesn't like me. I'm... I just met him for crying out loud. Whatever, I'm going home. I just don't know how I feel about Eric. He's a great guy, really. But I feel something very strange about him. The first time I ever met a vampire in my life. I still have no reaction to that. And I don't know how I'm going to react to this anytime soon.